Okay, guys, now let's go on. We have another interesting question type. That is what we call list of headings. Uh, in list of headings, tell me one thing. Are the questions and answers in order? No. If they were in order, Siapa finished. Paragraph A, heading 1. Paragraph B, heading 2, and all that. So they are not in order, right? Now, what you have to do, first of all, let's take a look what are the other questions. Uh, yeah, other questions are yes, no, not given. And there are six questions. So don't you think it's a good idea to start from there? And then we can come back to list of headings. First of all, as usual, we are going to read the title of the passage. And the title is Making Every Drop Count. Are you there? Yeah? Making Every Drop Count. What do you think this is going to be all about? Water. water. Exactly. We have a passage which is all about water, maybe the scarcity of water, use of water, how water is actually being used, waste of water, how to preserve water, or anything like that. Because there is a tab also, Tuti bhi nazarari yogi. Right? Joke chori ho jati hai. Making every drop count. Okay? Now we understand this. Okay. We go on with yes, no, not given, and then we will come back to true uh, list of headings. Yes, no, not given. Number one, the major difference between true, false, not given and yes, no, not given. Yes, no, not given is for, for writer's opinion, writer's view, writer's point of view. And true, false, not given is for factual information, the facts which are described there. For both questions type, questions and answers are in order. They are in order. For true, false, not given, and for yes, no, not given, they will be in order. If you are lucky, they will be grouped together in one or two paragraphs. And if you are not lucky, they will be scattered around. One answer in one paragraph, second answer in second, third, fourth. And again, when you read the question, you have to find the clue word. There is another important thing. If sentence is going to help you a lot. If. Right? Let's, I tell you how. I tell you. Let's just start. Question number 21, please. Follow me. Question number 21. Water use per person is higher in the industrial world than it was in ancient Rome. Now look here. If water use is higher in industrial world than ancient Rome, answer is yes. If uh, per person, industrial water, uh, in industrial world, water use is lower, right? Then the answer is no. And if they don't tell us whether it is higher or lower, or they don't give this comparison, I mean, industrial uh, world and ancient Rome, they don't tell us whether the water use is higher, was higher that time, or now it is higher. If they don't give this comparison, then the answer is not given. So whenever you read the question, you should have these three forms. Form number one, if this one, it's yes. If that one, then no. And if they don't tell anything, then it is not given. Now, let's see. What are the clue words? Ancient Rome and industrial world. So please go back to the passage and start your answers from the first paragraph. Always start from first paragraph. Can you see Roman Empire? Yes. Roman Empire. So I'm reading it from fourth line. Everyone found it? OK. And, and then we will decide what is the answer. At the height of the Roman Empire, nine major systems with an innovative layout of pipes and well-built sewers supplied the occupants of Rome with as much water per person as is provided in many parts of industrial world. They provided them as much water as is provided in many parts of industrial world. So means equal. As much as means equal. Question number 21, water use per person is higher. They say equal. So higher and equal, they are opposite. So the answer is not given. It is no. It is no. Understand? 
Now, why no? It's equal amount. And in, in the question, they say higher, right? I give equal money to my son and my daughter. And if I say I give higher money to my son than my daughter, so that is going to be no, right? So the answer is no. Why no? Because information is given. But the information is actually contradictory. Please come to the questions here. Follow me. Come to the questions. Can you see it's written yes, no, not given? Please follow me. Yes. If the statement agrees with the claims of the writer. No. If the statement contradicts the claims of the writer and not given if it is impossible to say what the writer thinks about it. All good? Yeah. Let's go on. Question number 22. Feeding increasing populations is possible due to primarily to improve irrigation systems. Now look here, look here. If feeding, increasing population means growing population. If feeding, feeding means providing them wheat, rice, and all that. So if feeding, increasing population is possible due to improved irrigation system, they say, thank God we have very improved irrigation system which can feed the population. Then the answer is yes. Otherwise, no and not given. Now what's the clue word here? Increasing population and irrigation system. So please come back. Increasing population and irrigation system. You have to come back to paragraph. Just find irrigation system and all that. Paragraph? No. Look ahead. Look ahead. It's paragraph C. Everyone, please come to paragraph C. Sorry, it's paragraph B. Yeah, not C. I confused myself. Okay, paragraph B. Now we just see. Uh, we're going to read it from the last few lines. Food production. In paragraph B, have you found food production? Good. Food production has kept pace with soaring populations mainly because, now they tell us the reason, mainly because of the expansion of artificial irrigation systems. Now, that make possible the growth, growth of 40% of the world's food. So what is the answer? It is absolutely yes. Why yes? They say food production has kept pace with soaring population mainly because of the expansion of artificial irrigation systems that make possible the growth of 40% of the world's food. So the question is, feeding increasing population is possible due to primarily, uh, due primarily to improved irrigation systems. The answer is yes. It is yes, come on, say loud and clear. Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, no. As a bolunga, yes, no, not given, tino ilagega. Abola, no, to given. No, to given. Yeah, chalaki lagari. All right. Yeah, ha kare, ya na kare, ye kya vacha hone, na karja ke na. Abhi ha or fir na. All right. Question number 23. Modern water systems imitate. Imitate means copy. Imitation. Modern water system imitate those of the ancient Greeks and Romans. What's the clue word? Greeks and Romans. So if modern system is their copy, yes. If modern system is not their copy, it's different, then it is no. Otherwise, not given. So please go back, look for, wow, C paragraph. C, all systematic. Okay, paragraph C. And I'm going to read it from uh, this uh, second line. Okay, let's read it from the beginning. Yet there is a dark, dark side to this picture. Despite our progress, half of the world's population still suffers with water services inferior to those available to the ancient Greeks and Romans. Inferior. They say they imitated, but now they say the services are actually inferior. Now tell me one thing. Inferior service has nothing to do with any similarity, right? Now, one thing is similar, 
One thing is inferior. Inferior means it's really worse than that. Right? Now, when they say it's worse than that, it doesn't mean that, this, for example, the way they had the pipelines and all that, we copy that pipelines. Now, tell me one thing. Have they mentioned anything that we imitated their system? No. no. So the answer should be not. not given. Now, don't take inferior as comparison. They only say the system is inferior. Inferior means their system was superior. But what the system was, right? What the system was, there is no similarity and all that. So the answer is going to be not given. Underline that word, that line there, and then you can match it. I mean, they say inferior, but they did not say anything about the uh, similarity of that system or imitation with the system. Let's come back to the questions. 24. Industrial growth is increasing the overall demand of, for water. Industrial growth is increasing the overall demand for water. Industrial growth. Question number 24. Industrial growth is increasing. Yeah. Industrial growth is increasing the overall demand for water. Look here. Look here. If industrial growth means a lot of industries if industrial growth is increasing the demand of water it is yes. yes if due to industrial growth still the demand of water is same or the demand of water is decreasing then it is no, no. and if they don't tell us that because of industrial growth the demand of water is increasing or decreasing answer is not given now what's the clue word industrial growth so please now go back Look for the word industrial growth. E, well done. Good jump. Paragraph E, everyone. Paragraph E. And you can see this word. I think it's not in E. It is in Paragraph F, absolutely. Come to paragraph F. Please follow me. I'm reading this paragraph F. Everyone follow me. Fortunately and unexpectedly, the demand of water is not rising as rapidly as some predicted. As a result, the pressure to build new water infrastructure has diminished over the past two decades. Although population, industrial output, and economic productivity have continued to soar in developed nations. The rate at which people withdrew water from aquifers, rivers, and lakes has slowed. Understand? Now, the things are increasing, but the water, that is decreasing. Just read this sentence again carefully. I repeat, they say, although population, please follow me. Paragraph F. For third line, although population, industrial output, and economic productivity have continued to soar. Soar means increase. Continue to soar in developed nations. The rate at which people withdraw water from aquifers, rivers, and lakes has slowed. Slowed means come again. Now, what's the question? Let's go back. The question is, industrial growth is increasing the overall demand for water. No, it has slowed. So the answer is no, no and never write false. For yes, no, never write false, okay? So the answer is no. See, just state of mind se guzar rahe na, wo natural hai. Reading mein aisi hota, reading mein dimaag ghoomta hai. Kaabu rakhna hai dimaag ko. Thik hai? Na, wo tari ke pata nahi mujhe kya honne lag jata hai jab mein... Uh, उसको देख लेता हूं तो कुछ ऐसा तो जब मैं रीडिंग को देख लेता हूं तो कुछ होने लग जाता है उसको काबू करना है ये वो चले रहने दे बचपन में एक शेर सीखा था जब मैं नौवीं दसवीं क्लास में था हालात ऐसे हो गए थे शेर आपको सुना देता हूं न दिल काबू में रहता है न बस में जान रहती है कभी हम ख्वाब में पता नहीं कभी दिल भर देख लेते हैं एनी थिंग लाइक दैट ये शायरी Okay, लेकिन उस लिहाज से बोलिए एक डायरी भी पड़ी हुई है मेरा एक सीक्रेट लॉकर है घर में उसके अंदर ताला लगा हुआ है उसकी चाबी मेरे पास है उसमें मेरे 
बचपन के राज नौवीं दसवीं ग्यारहवीं बारहवीं एक दिन मेरी बेटी के आज चाबी लग गई एंड देन डैडी ये कौन है वो कौन है इनका बेटे बचपन की बातें अब नहीं ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजीज हैव लेड टू अ रिडक्शन इन डोमेस्टिक वाटर कंजम्पन डी अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी हैज लेड टू रिडक्शन इन डोमेस्टिक वाटर कंजम्पन मीन्स बिकॉज ऑफ मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी इन होम्स वी यूज लेस वॉटर नाउ प्लीज लुक फॉर द वर्ल्ड डोमेस्टिक और होम और हाउस पैराग्राफ जी बिल्कुल जी जी पैराग्राफ जी एवरी वन प्लीज कम देयर and come to last three last lines but since 1980 found it but since 1980 everyone found it paragraph g but since 1980 got it okay but since 1980 the amount of water consumed per person has actually decreased thanks to a range of new technologies to help to conserve water in homes now look here homes and domestic homes and domestic so due to technology what happened the water which is used at home that has decreased right what's the question the question is modern technology have led to reduction in domestic water consumption so the answer is yes well done good one enjoying ये yeah, समझ आए तो एंजॉय होता है समझ ना आए तो भी एंजॉय होता है <laughs> सानू की पता <laughs> yeah, वो उसका अपना ही मजा है ना कि कुछ समझ भी नहीं आ रही आप एंजॉय भी कर रहे हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स इन द फ्यूचर गवर्नमेंट शुड मेंटेन ऑनरशिप ऑफ वोटर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन फ्यूचर गवर्नमेंट शुड मेंटेन यू नो नाउ अवर म्यूनसिपल कमेटीज दे प्रोवाइड अस वोटर एंड इन सम एरियाज यू कैन नॉट डेग एंड Uh, extract water from the earth right so in future future tense government should maintain ownership of water infrastructure government and future and this type of thing listen now listen here a very good clue whenever they talk about future or whenever they predict about future most of the time answers are in the last paragraph okay now please come to last paragraph and there is paragraph h on the other hand dams yeah on the other hand dams aqueducts and other kinds of infrastructure will still have to be built particularly in developing countries where basic human needs have not been met but such projects must be built to higher specifications and with more accountability to local people and their environment than in the past and even in the regions where no 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 yeah they don't say what's the question the question is in the future government should maintain ownership of water infrastructure there is no mention of that they did not say that government should control all the water resources there is no mention so the answer is not given okay good job <laughs>